What's going on guys? My name is Ty with the Dividend Star King and I got one question for you. Today is October 12th. It's a Wednesday, 2000, 2022 and I got one question. How does your form k look? How does your stock portfolio look? Can you know I, I do with stocks? I can tell you at this time, Robert Corn is not looking too good. My 401k is down like 30%. Um, 25, 30%, probably limit about over 30%. Uh, the 401k don't look good for a lot of people. Okay. And that's the issue of 401k I do not like. Um, yes, it's a great way to invest some money, but the 401k has a lot of pros and cons that people don't talk about. Uh, one of the cons are if you were about to retire and the market is down, you're down 30%. You know, let's say you have, I don't know, uh, 300,000 in your 401k, and now you're down, let's say today, the stock market is down 30%. Now you're going to have 270, maybe 260,000 to take out. That's a big difference. So we need to, and I'm not getting financial advice, but we need to diversify your money into something else other than the 401k. I believe Fundrise is the perfect tool for long-term investing, to invest for the long-term, not short-term, long-term. It's a great tool to invest long-term. I'm talking about long-term for five, 10 years. Now for me, my Fundrise account is for my retirement, okay? With the um, 401k. The 401k is never meant for retirement. You do your research, go on YouTube and go on Google. The 401k was part of a three-legged stool. You had your pension, your 401k, and other assets that you invest in during your lifetime. So for me, fun ride, I have my, I have my dividend stocks, one, monthly dividend, monthly income. The 401k is, a, of course, one. I'm not a fan of. And fun rides could be a third supplementary income stream for myself. And you see, I only got $183. And that's fine because I can invest slowly. Now, right now, I'm on a starter pack. You can start now for $10. Um, and you can start with a starter pack. I need $817 more to get to the basic plan. And the basic plan unlocks this stuff, which I do like to have that up here. I like that feature. That I can see how much I have remaining to get to that starter pack. I do like that. Um, but. If you look at um, my performance and look at my net returns, I earned four percent in dividends and appreciation. I earned uh, a negative, a negative, a negative. I think two dollars and nineteen cents. I'm I earned four four cents in dividends so far. Appreciation, I'm down two dollars nineteen nineteen cent. I explain that in a minute. Advisor fees are very low. Um, four cents, and that's that's one thing about the 401k I do not like. They'll take fees out of your 401k, you have no clue how much and what it's going to. I know, you know, advisor fees are fees to run the account and tells you how much here, um, how much they charge, um, and their percentage. So you see, you see your, your fees, okay? So, of course, you can have pay some fees, but the reason, um, let me see. So I, I put in um, $185, and the, the reason why the appreciation is probably down, because right now I stopped this stock market. The housing market bubble has bust a little bit because it was houses were extremely expensive. Like people buy houses left and right. Uh, the summer of 2022, um, buying up houses, and now it's like okay, because the, then people raise the price of the homes, paying twenty, thirty thousand dollars over asking price and making money. Well, that's not, that's not gonna last long, okay? That'll last a few months. It's not gonna last long, okay? We're going to right now it's October. We're going to November. People are slowing down now because they're not really buying homes. And you know, Black Friday's coming up. You got Christmas coming up, so it's it's slowed down tremendously. So this this thing here is perfect for me because this is my act. This is my portfolio. That's why I invested in because this is long term. They, they even said it. Where you sign up with Fundrise, put your keep your money hand for at least five years. Okay, you you you, you can take it out, but it's hard to take it out. Um, they 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 advise you for a five year investment. So, 
I forewarned you before you want to invest in Fundrise. You know, plan to have this thing for five years. Don't touch it for five years. Um, this is why I don't put a lot of money into it right now. I put money into it so I can pay every two weeks. Um, because this is my long-term thing. This is like another supplemental income stream. And again, you know, once you put more money into it and you can change the portfolio, you could go to growth. If you want to invest in a growth portfolio, you can do that. Um, and you, if you want to invest in dividends, you can do that as well. Now, one tip I will tell you that I learned from YouTube that the people who make the most money go into growth. And why would you go into growth? Because the dividends is good too. Well, dividends are taxed. Growth isn't tax. If you house a hundred thousand dollars now worth three fifty, you gotta pay tax on that money. You're you're selling on more money when you sell. So that's one tip for you. So once you you know, you can create an investment goal if you like. You can build wealth, you can get income, retirement. And but I can't get these things till I have more money into my account. So you see, you want to retire or fundraise, you can do that. Um if you want to do a major purchase, you can do that as well. So for me, it's a long-term thing. It's another thing I'm going to hold for another you know, 20, 30 years and put money into it and let that money work for me. Um, so um, if I tell anyone, hey, man, I want to start investing my money into real estate, some stocks, what should I use? Well, I use concrete and fundraise my you know real estate con fund, uh, crowdfunding. And I use Robinhood for my dividend stocks. And you could, and, and then you can use Rob, uh, fundraise and Robinhood and concrete you can put a little money a, a time and you can build an income stream and a retirement fund. Okay, so again, look at your 401k if you have one. Look at the stock market. It is not doing good right now, which is not a bad thing. If you're a young person or you're not knowing your retirement, you could invest now while the stocks are low. But if you bought a retire or you're 65 or 59 and a half and you bought a retire, it sucks to be you right now. Um, but People who are a little bit younger, who's younger than me, who are in their 20s or 30s, start investing now. Put $10, $20 every time you get paid. Let that grow. And you have another income stream. Remember, you don't want to rely on a 401k. That's not the only way. Is that meant for retirement? So you need something else in lieu with that. Having a fund rise, having a 401k in dividend stocks is a good move as well. So that's the end of my video. Thanks for having my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I have a link to Fun Rides below. Thanks for watching.